And I'm throwing you right here. Next to him, please, right here. That's it. No blinking, please. To him, please. Yeah, thank you. Gosh, I know, right? I mean, we were off shooting this movie for a huge chunk of our lives, We've been working on it for a huge chunk of our lives, and it's um, it's a very privileged situation to be in, to have all of this uh, as a result of that, and just a huge honor. Yeah, my, my uh, camera phone has already run out of memory because I kept taking pictures of people in costumes that we were, you know, part of the people pointing to and saying, that looks really interesting, we should do that, you know. Um, obviously, like, like that's a huge decision made by a whole bunch of people, but uh, but it is weird when you see like something that's mostly in your brain suddenly start to exist out completely outside of it. Well, you know, specifically with a character who is so intrinsically cool in terms of like, oh, he's no one would deny the coolness of Moon Knight, and and like even the most cynical comic book fan would be like, well. You know, everything else is too mainstream here for about Moon Knight. Moon Knight's cool. He's like, he's the cool deep cut. So to be tasked with the responsibility of bringing Moon Knight into a live action world is a is just like, that's the dream, right? That's like the, the dream to be able to do that. So, yeah. Well, I mean, Oscar is uh, America's favorite actor. He's also our favorite actor. You know, he's this, this spectacular performer and a really good guy. 
Oh my gosh, it's just amazing. We're such a we're such a close unit as a group, so it's always fun when we get to like get on the plane and the sun is shining and just come back together. And also for the world to see it, we're, I'm so proud to be in this show and what what's been put together. So yeah, really happy to be here today. It's such a privilege to be part of the Marvel Universe and also, you know, to be part of the kind of widening of the representation of what you're seeing on screen and who you're seeing and, you know, as a dark skinned woman, you know, I, I didn't see a lot of me's, you know, and with shaved heads and all of that kind of stuff. So I'm really proud to be part of how they're expanding and, and showing us the whole full, you know, range of people, you know, and stories, especially because this, this, the themes within this show are really, really important. There are so many films and so many shows, but they all tie into each other in some which way. And you have to, you kind of have to watch them all <laughs> to really understand, right? You know, which is what's brilliant about this is that every single character in this is brand new, you know, and you can just be part of a completely brand new experience. And um, yeah, so that's been really, really lovely knowing that Marvel is introducing someone new and a, and a new story and, and also a new, a new way of story, storytelling, which I think is really, really exciting. That The way that this show is put together has really blown my mind, really. Oh, it's just a dream because, you know, I got cast in this over a year now and it's all been so hush hush. And then to finally be here and I can stand in front of a sign with, with the name of the show, I can be like, look, I'm in it. So, um, yeah, it's so much fun. I mean, it's brilliant. When I was on set, just having these incredible sets built for you and the costumes were beautiful. It really helps you embody the character. And, you know, getting to play uh, an Egyptian character, working with an Egyptian director, because I'm Egyptian myself, it just was extra special that uh, I'm going on this venture with Marvel in this new show. I know there was a mini moon night. I came out and there was a, a, a little boy in it. It was great. It's so cool because the costume's amazing. And as I said, it's all been kept within the team for so long. So to now see other people enjoying it, I just can't wait for people to watch the show when it comes out. It's such a cool comic in terms of the writing and the artwork. So to then be able to see how the writers and the team have taken it and created it into its own thing with the show, it, it, it's it's really cool and also you know unlike other Marvel stuff we're adding a lot of darker themes to it um, so I think you for fans who like the comics they'll really appreciate what we've done with the series it's so great to see everyone out here ready ready to watch moon moon night and celebrate and it's great to be in the world again and it's uh, it's a great show there's 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 two things that are rewarding about Marvel right one is when the characters interact for the first time and you get that, that amazing strange chemistry. And the other thing is launching a character for the first time, which we get to do with Moon Knight. And it's a character like we've never done before. You know, it's a little darker, it's a little grittier, it has a lot to say, it's mysterious. There's a lot going on in the show. I'm really excited for people to see it. Nothing's like seeing those fans dressed up in the costumes of these characters that we, you know, when we create these costumes, we, 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 we put a lot of heart and soul into it. And to see people put, put that kind of effort into creating their own is really amazing. It's a very mysterious show. There's a lot that's revealed week after week. So I'm very excited to see people unravel the mystery of Mark Spector and Stephen Grant. I mean, that's, I, I was trying to explain to some friends recently you know how important these new stories are. When I grew up and Star Wars came out in 79, you know, it was, what is this? We haven't seen this kind of stuff before. So to be at the beginning of a new character that I have no doubt is going to be part of the MCU for years to come is really thrilling. And, you know, it's, it's an honor to, to walk toe to toe with these guys. Well, you start to, understand the enormity of of the fan base of the joy that 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 this work brings to people you know i mean the goodwill as i came around the corner there from you know from everyone in their cosplay clothes and you realize this these these programs are, and movies are a huge part of people's lives and they wait project to project to to get their kick and what an honor to be part of that to be to be involved and hopefully making people smile and scream and be shocked and furious, you know? That's why we got into this. 
it's so fun to see people excited about movies. I mean, I've dedicated my life to movies, so I, I, seeing people thrilled by them and into it and dressing up and making a party out of it, I mean, it's what living is about, right? Yeah, it's what you make it for. I mean, you know, like, you don't, we haven't had this in a couple of years, so it, I'm kind of blown away by it. It's so, I mean, it's exactly, we work so hard to try to make something for these people, and so to see them here and have it be real, it's thrilling. Oh man, it's just, it's so dreamy, right? Like, I'm a huge fan of Oscar and of Ethan, and getting to work with everybody and be in this world is just a dream. As a kid, I didn't really read a lot of comics, but after I was introduced to it, I became really obsessed with like the, the beautiful message that superheroes kind of bring to us, which is that heart of gold, that thing that keeps us going, right? In a world that like, doesn't make sense and these incredible, insane things that are happening all the time that you can find this center, this one thing that keeps you going through the brokenness, I think is like a really important message. Plus it's fun, you know, it's fun to go to the movies and see it all go down. So I'm a huge fan and I'm super grateful. I think it's just a completely new, fun uh, adventure. I, I don't think it's anything like the, like the other superheroes that you'll see, and I think you'll be surprised. I think you just have to wait and see. You just have to watch. <laughs> Oh, it's incredible to celebrate Moon Knight tonight, you know, and then obviously to celebrate it with the fans officially on March 30th with the launch on Disney Plus. But really, I think it's a culmination. This character first appeared in the pages of Werewolf by Night in 1975, got his own comic in 1980. So we're talking years and decades of storytelling thereafter. And part of it comes to fruition tonight. And then part of it, you know, we'll talk to Kevin Feige and see where this character goes next in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Oh, it's incredible. There's a little kid over there dressed as Moon Knight. There's other people dressed as Moon Knight, Mr. Knight, their favorite Marvel characters. We have the best fan base in the world at Marvel Studios, and um, we don't take that for granted. We know we got to keep giving them great stories, and we keep doing that, and they keep showing up. And it's, you know, seeing them show up like this in costume, it's invigorating. It's very cool and very surreal for, for so long. The first like year of the process was just me and the other writers just kind of sitting in a little windowless room at Marvel and, and sort of fantasizing about this day. And, and back then we didn't know who would star, we didn't know what the costume would look like, any of that. So to be here and to see the billboards and the fans and their costumes, um, it's really exciting, it's really fun. I'm really excited for, for people to see that it's something different from the MCU. It's not, it's, it's, it's similar to the MCU in, in the sense that if you liked everything that came before, you'll like this as well. But it, it definitely, it's, it's darker, it's weirder, um, it, it, it's very psychological and, and we really, um, in the writer's room, we really tried to make it as sort of unpredictable and, and satisfying as possible so that every episode has big twists and turns and reveals and it goes to some pretty weird, unexpected places. Um, so I'm just excited for fans to get to go on that entire journey. We're really happy and I'm really, really proud of, of Mohamed Diab and, and Oscar and Ethan and uh, Grant, producer. These guys really worked so hard and uh, we had a fantastic experience in Budapest. So being here is just, you know, it's a dream come true, really. And I think this series will be a huge hit. So I'm, I'm one of those fans, you know, and I can, I can assure you that uh, there'll be lots of tricks, lots of surprises. And, and just a really great experience to watch. Moon Knight coming to Disney Plus finally. This was one of, this was one of you know the, the the top shows and ideas and characters that we wanted to bring to life when Disney Plus came to be. And we needed something. It's an amazing story. It taps into Egyptology, which is something I think everybody's fascinated with. It taps into a very different type of hero who suffers some mental disorders with digi uh, digital, with uh, dissociative identity disorder, and how he struggles and overcomes that. But it needed an amazing actor. And it really was when Oscar Isaac rolled up his sleeves and said, let me jump into this with you guys, that the whole thing came to life. And that's what I'm most excited about audiences finally getting to see is Oscar as this character. This series is very much uh, a mystery. And the, uh, the audience is right with the lead character, Stephen Grant. 
He wakes up in the morning and he struggles to figure out what is happening to him and what is going on. And the audience is on, with him on that journey throughout all six episodes. So for us, it's really fun, almost akin to WandaVision. As each episode, something else is uncovered and we, and we travel down that journey with, uh, with uh, Oscar's character. It's great fun. It is great fun, especially for the Disney Plus series, where we get to see all the amazing fan feedback online and read it. But on this, on the on the premiere night, we get to be in an audience and and and, and hear the laughs and hear the cheers and hear the gasps uh, as there may be tonight. Uh, so that's wonderful. I know. I'm trying to take it all in. Like everyone who was dressed up, I wanted to take a photo with everyone. It was. I appreciate so much what they put into it and. We put so much love and work into this project, and so to be able to share it with people that we love. My, my whole family is right here, so I'm really excited. Um, yeah, I have no words. It's just fun. It's surreal. I'm so grateful. I'm grateful to be um, a woman in it. I'm grateful to represent the Middle East in it. It's all been a great blessing. It was such a pleasure. Everything you're doing, you know, it's historical because everything you know it's gonna stay maybe for decades. It depends on how cool the character is, but I have too much trust in Moon Knight. I think he's gonna be here to stay. So everything that we have here, I really felt, even the suit, you know that this is something uh, historical. And I'm, I, I would say I'm very lucky because if you ask me which is the character that you would wanna explore and have a film about in the whole Marvel Universe, I will tell you Moon Knight. It's a new feeling to have this weight of, of I need I, that show belongs to the fan more than it belongs to me so it's very important that they are satisfied and happy um, it's a new thing usually we create our own material but now you come here with the utmost respect um, and uh, I really want to share this with them and I really want them to be happy it's very important the moment Oscar inhibited Mark and the moment Oscar inhibited Steven it was magical he's a genius and I'm so happy. He's such an intellectual guy. And I think he didn't even just help Mark and Steven. He helped the horse show. I didn't expect that it was going to be such a blast to do this with Ethan and May and Muhammad and Justin and Aaron and just Marvel in general. They've been such great partners. Yeah, well, there was a lot of freedom because he's a pretty, you know, obscure character. I know he's definitely got like a loyal fan base, but I never heard of him. And I feel like a lot of people, you know, he's not very well known. And so there was a lot of freedom and excitement and kind of building him from the ground up for, for an actual show. I, I grew up on uh, Marvel Comics. I still have some of them. And uh, so it just, it just feels like being a kid. And um, it's a whole other level of... Uh, the things that inspired you to get into this, uh, into acting in the first place, into storytelling, and uh, yeah, getting, it's, it's kind of a dream come true. This, well, this, it's really exciting. So, the first time in LA, and <clears throat> to come and do a red carpet, do like this, and, you sort of, and also to be in Marvel, well, it is, it's fantastic. It's really, it is really exciting. You sort of, and part of the hard work is, of course, trying to be, appear really cool, as if it's really natural, you don't do it all the time, but no, it's great. It's astonishing, it's really fascinating, because, you know, as kids, we've always heard about it, we've read the comics, and to actually come and play one of these characters is really, really exciting. And uh, it, it challenges you a lot, as, a lot as an actress, so it's really fun, yeah. Everything. I mean, I think that um, every new show is a new journey, and every time um, a new audience gets to see it, it's almost like fresh eyes, because, you know, the things that we see, some things we don't. Um, so we learn. It's a learning experience every single time.